Yeah. Well, actually, when I first heard of this project, um, I looked on uh, on the website, and uh, when I saw the pictures, I was um, not only surprised, but what I liked of it that uh, people took their own initiative to uh, translate a certain technique, a certain use for, with straw bell to use their own form and their own building. So it's not, it's not uh, every day <laughs> that beer crates we, we build, and in particular beer crates, um, it's for me also a material of recuperation. And finally, straw bell is also recuperation, uh, because the farmer, he goes for the cereal. Uh, he sells cereal and the straw for a long time. They throw it away, they burn it. Uh, well, they use a part now. But finally, what we do now for construction is, I think it's the most ecological what we can do if we work with recuperate material. So the straw bell is that. And uh, the, the beer crate is it. And what we are using here is also earth, clay. It's also recuperation. So I think this is the, the most recuperated building what we can make. <laughs> and what I like the most is that the roof is already there. So it is all the elements together is uh, a building. What somebody has thought about, and that's what I like of it, it's not somebody who is in Strober building, but it's somebody with an approach for the thinking, what we can do with the materials who are there. And so that he was uh, inspired with, with uh, this approach, uh, what, what, I, what I explain in my book, then I see this is, I'm just very glad that the book inspired it to get this result in Germany. It's really, so I finally, but also by coincidence, that I come in touch with this uh, project by another person. And then I can help to, to finish the building. I have to bring it as a jart. So I started to do it. And it's actually real. It's a little bit of a jart. And it's great. Z2 je dobrá možnost. Možnost. Uvidíme jeho potenciál. Koho to byl nápad? Koho asi? Hlavného z vesmíru. Weekendy a veľa, veľa peničiek. A v podstate to vzniklo z potreby väčšieho priestoru, tak sme sa rozhodli, že potrebujeme priestor, aby sme mohli uvieť to, čo chceme niť naozaj. Raz v sobotu na mňa otco volá, že Hanka rozprávali o tvojej robote a v rádi v Českom rozhľadce rozprávali o RS2, čiže táto budova alebo tento priestor je známy Máme Československo. Preto sme to začali číslovať, pretože sa ponúka pokračovanie. Keby sme napríklad Stanicu v hole stanica, a nie S1, S2, Kopula. Kopula. 
tak potom by sme museli stále vymýšľať nové názvy, tak to budeme jednoducho číslo a dnes jedna. Ale kopla nie je bez názvu. Naše upratovačky to volajú kopla. Nie kopla, ale kopla. Yeah, so there's also another thing what I like to say and what I got inspired by this approach is that what we see much more and more in our society, but also in building in particular, that we need more and more specialists. Everybody is specialist in a very small area of an activity. So actually what we can do, we, we even cannot build anymore. We need somebody who does coordination, everything. And It was actually what we did before, that humans are used to build their own house and their own buildings, what they need. But we, with all the specialism, we cannot anymore. On top of that, we make a lot of laws and rules because we need this and that. And finally, what you see here is just common sense with a kind of reflection, creativity, And finally, and this is also what I like here, it's implanted on a place in, the, in a quarter of the, of the city where people are already used to meet each other and to work together. And this is finally for me a, 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 an example, a very good example, what we can do in society. It's a place where we meet and we do together activities like building. It's simple like that. And sure, there are moments that we need a specialist to show how things work, but finally the work is done by people who are just passing by here. And, um, it, it shows for me that we, we can build, uh, and uh, it, if we are taking more and more uh, confidence in this approach, that we use the materials who are just available around here, that we do that together in, in, in a way that we, uh, that we uh, as a team, And even people who help just one or two days. Huh? You happen to be a specialist, specialist, that you see this result, what is working, and what has also, um, finally, because it's a theater, it's, it's, it's helping the, the society to create this, this more and more. Because people meet in the theater, and then they say, hey, we did this together, you know? The best, though, for me, how we build it, is almost like one of the, the pages of the theater itself. A na začiatku som ani si nevedel predstaviť, že, že to zrealizujeme a ako, ako to bude vyzerať. Ani som neveril, že nevedel som sa skrátka predstaviť. Ale potom, keď už sme začali, tak tak to bol strašne dobrý pocit, že, že niečo sami vlastnými rukami tvoríme a ľudia, ľuďom sa to páčil ten nápad. Ja som najčastejšie asi varila pre tým dobrovoľníkov, ktorí tu stávali, čo bol tiež celkom zaujímavý zážitok, pretože navádiť rizoto pre 15 ľudí nie je úplne sranda. No, S2 sa v tejto chvíli stala vlastne ako plniť svoju funkciu ako objekt, atrakcia, čiže si žije tým svojim vlastným životom. A čo je ako výborné na nej, zaujíma ľudí, at- a atrakuje celé to postprostredie, alebo ako sa to povie. A takže tú svoju možnosť života ako plní. Nedávno ma napadlo, že, že, keď tam, že bolo úplne super, keď tam tá S2 ešte aj nebola, 
Som to videla na fotke a proste ma to tak zaujalo a som si hovorila, že to tak skoro neuvidíme. <laughs> Aby sme to ukončili tak pateticky, mm-hmm. pasuje na to dobre naše heslo, že urobili sme to dobre, lebo sme to urobili dobre. Urobili sme to, lebo sme to urobili dobre. <laughs> a teda... We did it, oh, also for English. Oh, we did it, we did it because, because we did it good. <laughs>